Good morning. Good morning. Good happy Monday morning. I'm just enjoying some tea out of one of my favorite mugs. Um, every once in a while I like to offer a pay what you can or pay it forward offering with uh, Reiki or aromatherapy massages and this beautiful mug was a gift from uh, one of my clients and I love it because on the bottom is inscribed embrace the day carpe diem and um, seize the day embrace the day some days I feel like seizing, some days I feel like embracing. And I did that this morning, definitely. I um, was looking out the window and the rain was just falling so gently. Oh, there's my gratitude chime. And I looked down to the pond and it just looked so peaceful and calm down there. So I decided to do my morning swim. I went down and um, Ralph brought, we're doing a little bit of reconstruction in our back hill. So the gazebo is down there now. So I had somewhere dry to put my, my bathrobe. And I went down and had this gorgeous swim. I did uh, three lengths back and forth. So, And it was just so beautiful. The water was bouncing back off and the raindrops were falling down. They were perfectly spaced. It was just the most beautiful geometric pattern being created before my very eyes on the surface of the water of the pond. It was just such a great swim. I would have stayed in longer, but I knew I had to get other things done this morning. So here we are. And I think this is all part of what I'm feeling these days is that um, Ange Peters talked about it in her video on the weekend about feeling things, feeling the little nudges. Uh, whether you call it intuition or guidance from God or the spirit uh, that moves through all things, any of those things, when we get those little messages and we act on them, that's when the magic happens. And it needs to be, those messages don't come from a place of being confused or scared or anxious or running around um, yelling or any of those things. All those little nudges and messages come when we are in a place of calm and peace. And intellection's my number five. That's my go-to place. That's what gives me um, all the motivation and the inspiration for everything that I do. I just realized that how important that is for me to have that time. So when I'm swimming, when I'm swimming in the pond, that's about deep diving into myself and just being open to everything. And I was thinking this morning as I was making the bed, uh, children, children are so precious, are they not? Um, yeah, I'm just so grateful that there are a few little kids that either uh, friends of ours have children or, or in our family. And I just love being around them. And one of the reasons is that young children especially, they have no filters. Everything they're experiencing, they're processing. And this is why I feel so strongly about protecting our children. But you know, there's that saying about out of the mouths of babes. And it's because children say what's really on their mind, what they're really feeling. And they are able to do that because they aren't all processed yet. They haven't been indoctrinated or told you have to think like this. I mean, especially not at a very young age. And um, with yeah, I, I think that's what I love about kids especially is because they're coming from their own self. They are sharing what they believe from their heart center. Um, and they haven't been told, you know, you can't say that or you can't think like this. And I just really, really love that. And I think that it's so important for us to be able to access that, that heart center, that place of peace where we can access all that wisdom again and where we can find the strength and conviction to speak from our heart, to speak truly. Um, that's, that there's, there's nothing wrong with that as long as it's coming from a place of love and compassion, right? And we can have discussions about things. Good morning, Krista. We can have, hey, Krista, I was in the pond already this morning. I just did three lengths. Um, I can't wait to see you swimming in the pond this summer. Um, so, so just, I find that if you can find a way to declutter, find the peace, find that, and, and however you do it, a healthy body is important. You know, gut health is so important. Our gut ru rules our, our mind and our brain. So if your gut isn't healthy, if you're eating crap food, if you're not looking after your body, it's going to be a lot harder to find that peace and calm. So look after your bodies, number one. And then just find a way to let go of things. Um, I... 
um, was able to do some Reiki sessions uh, yesterday. And one of the things that I always remind people is that we need to release and let go. When you release and let go of the things that no longer matter, it makes room for the things that can help and the things that really do matter. So holding on to, holding on to um, old beliefs, holding on to anger, holding on to frustration, holding on to all those negative things isn't helping you at all. And you need to find a way to let them go. There's oils for that, there's Reiki for that, there's meditation, there's screaming, there's physical activity, there's gut health, there's all those things. No excuses. You need to let go of all the crap that you're holding on to in order to live fully. And that's what I've spent the last few years doing, letting go of crap. I didn't realize it was crap. I realized a lot of it was ideas that I had about myself, ideas and worries that I had about other people. And it's, it's as Natalie says, um, it's, it's nanya, it's nanya business. And Wayne Dyer said, what, what, what you think of me is none of my business. Um, again, this morning, I was listening to Eddie Via in our Unleash, Unleash Your Strengths community. And there's a lot of talk about um, uh, Byron Katie's book, um, Love What Is, I think is the name of the book. And I know that it's time for me to read that book. I've had it for a while. So yeah, it, it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. You have to let go of the stuff that doesn't serve you. And then you have to listen to the voices and do the right things and listen to your heart and, and let the magic happen. And that's life. That's life. That's, that's this mug. Embrace, embrace your life. Seize your life. It's why I named um, my... Uh, social media platform embrace your life because that's how I want to live I want to live vibrantly I want to live to be 124 and have a blast all the way through it with people that I love and I'm going to make it happen and I'd love to have you there with me so Krista I'm going to need you to bring me a warm blanket when I need it <laughs> all right so that's the message for today um Think about what things you are hanging on to that you don't need to hang on to anymore and let them go. I can help you if you want. Uh, oils, Reiki, all those things. We're having a Reiki share tomorrow night. Um, let go of those things <clears throat> and then think about the things that you are grateful for and what you want to see more of in your life and that will happen. I know it will. Belief's high for me. Positivity is high for me, yes. But I know, I know it can happen. So I love you. Have a fantastic Monday. Um, follow your heart, follow your dreams. Don't look for the excuses. All right, I challenge you. Let me know how that's going for you.